Hi, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be removing and refurbing the steering wheel trim back to its former glory on my uh, BMW E65 series. As you can see, there's signs of wear to the lower trim piece in all three areas. So to start off with, we need to remove the airbag. Uh, we do this by depressing the airbag springs, which can be accessed through this hole here, underneath the uh, lower edge of the steering wheel. I'm using a long T20 Torx bit on a driver handle and uh, with a bit of persuasion it should pop off as you can see there in the video and then just carefully raise above and rest with a microfiber cloth. So these are the springs that are holding the airbag in place, the two uppers and the two lowers that we've just depressed to pop it out. Uh, on the left hand side we've got a T20 fixing and same for the right hand side. So we remove these to get the uh, trim piece off. With the two screws out the way, carefully uh, pull the trim away. It's just located with a couple of dowels. Um, they're out and then they're just two connectors, one to the left and one to the right, as you can see there. Once they're clearly out of the way, you've got the uh, trim piece with the buttons. And then you've just got another two uh, T20 bits either side, um, and those little multi-function switch pieces will come out of the uh, trim piece, and you're left with the lower piece that we're going to be refurbing today. So the things we'll need for this, um, I've just got a set of black nitrile gloves. Keep your hands safe from the nail polish. It's just a cheap Tesco one, nothing special. Then we're just going to saturate the kitchen roll and wrap it um, around the trim piece. Before we do that, we're just going to mask off the M Sport sticker on the lower. Just cut around that so the uh, nail polish doesn't start attacking that little badge. Um, they're not expensive, so if worse comes to worse, you can replace that. But yeah, get the gloves on. Don't let that uh, nail polish remover get on your hands. And we start off saturating and wrapping around. Use three pieces for this just to get good coverage, as you can see, going over onto the left side, and then just one final piece for the uh, centre lower piece. Now, you're going to leave that for 30 minutes. Whilst I let that uh, nail polish do its stuff, just gave a thorough cleaner, um, just with some multipurpose cleaner uh, to the side pieces, just loads of old grime skin and nastiness on the steering wheel buttons. And with the 30 minutes up unwrapped, you can see it's uh, eaten into the layer on the uh, lower trim piece nicely, nice marble effect. I then just like wiped it off with the old kitchen roll, as you can see in the uh, background of this. Um, so it left it looking like this now, um, so nice and smooth. Um, just for the paint to bond to, I just rubbed down with a 3000 grit. Um, just take your time with this, no point rushing the prep side of it. I'm um, getting in all the areas in, in the corners and especially on the trim edges where then the airbag like sits along that edge you want to make sure that surface is nice and clean so the paint bonds to it nicely and you get a good consistent finish across. Quick little degrease with some isopropyl alcohol, uh, brake cleaner I guess would be as good um, yeah, just to get rid of any uh, dust or any light bits of uh, plastic left on there and then we're ready straight away to get into paint. Uh, I ended up doing three light coats with this stove barbecue paint. Um, it's quite chip resistant, um, and then just a little bit of a hot air gun in between each one, just to speed up the process. And then we were left with the uh, the finished product. So putting it back together now, uh, nice and easy. The two twenties on the right hand side for the multifunction rocker. And the same again for the left, just sit them down, do them up, and then carefully align up your connectors, black one to the right hand side, your lane departures, and your rocker up and down, and then the white connector on the left hand side uh, with your volume controls and audio. And then you just have the lower dowels on the right hand side, which just literally just little lugs, just push fit in. Um, just go nice and steady with this. The paint has had time to cure, but yeah, just nice, gentle, ease it in there, as you can see, around the steering wheel trim. Um, and then just be careful of your wire connectors on the left and right that you've just connected up. Don't get them pinched in. 
um, and then just reinsert your one T20 to the left, and then one T20 to your right hand side, and then you're ready to lower your airbag down. And like I said, yeah, just watch that wire. I think I'm just tucking the left one in a little bit because um, you don't want the tangs of the airbag to push it in and get it trapped. And then it's just a case of uh, pushing it back in and getting it clipped in around all the corners. Uh, as you can see here, I did struggle a little bit with mine. Originally the top clipped in, but not the lower. So I was just sussing it out, wiggling it back in, and then eventually managed to get it in, in one there as it's popped there nicely. And then just, yeah, wipe around with the microfiber and then just secure, make sure it's all good all around and level, which it is, and job done much much better a uh, nice simple job doesn't take long at all um, but really does improve that massively as you can see there looks oem finish um, really really highly recommend that uh, barbecue stove paint it's only about eight pound a tin here in the uk um, yeah works wonders thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more